today, I'm going to talk about my friend Panchito. You guys are probably wondering, like, what the fuck is Abdi talking about, man? Well, today I'm going to be telling you a pretty funny story. There was once a man named Panchito. Nobody even know who the fuck he was, man. But people keep calling him, man. Yeah, man. But before I start this story, I want to say I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I hope you guys understand my point of view. And please, have a good day. So it all started off in a beautiful, sunny afternoon. It was a Monday, right? We're all feeling good. You know, I came home after a nice workout. And I get a phone call out of nowhere. I was home. I was chilling, you know, eating my protein, drinking my protein shakes, you know, lifting some weights. Out of nowhere, phone call comes in. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. I picked up, I said, hello, who's this? Now, mind you, it's a number I haven't seen before. I don't know the fuck is calling me right now, but it's probably someone important. First thing that comes out the lady's mouth, hola, hola, esta Panchito. Now in my head, I'm like, all right, I don't know a Panchito. Who the fuck is Panchito? I immediately told her, you know, this is the wrong number in Spanish because obviously she spoke Spanish. You know, I, I said, Tienes el número escubicado, uh, por favor, llámame uh, más luego, tienes el número escubicado. So I'm sure she understood what I meant. You know, we're good. We're on the same note. She got the wrong number. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, she did it. Now, why? Why? Because five minutes later, not even 10, not 15, not 20, five. Cinco, cinco minutos, mas, cinco minutos of potatoes. She calls me and pretty much asks me again. Está Panchito, Panchito, está aquí, está ahí, Panchito. In my head, I'm like, all right, maybe she didn't understand, maybe she didn't get it. You know, I told her again. Tienes el número escubicado, por favor. No llama a me. Tienes el número escubicado. Now at this point, I'm like, all right, she got it. She got it, you know. <laughs> she ain't calling again. I'm good, you know. I'm sorry, Panchito. I hope you find Panchito, but she got the wrong number. We're good over here, man. We're good over here. It's fucking wrong. 20 minutes later, not even, probably 15 minutes later, she calls again. Panchito, Panchito está aquí. I'm like, okay, okay, what are you not understanding right now? What? What is not understandable that you tienes a number escubicado? So I told her again, like I said, you know, you have the wrong number in Spanish and in English. Just to clarify, you know, that she's understanding the situation. She said, you know, I don't even, I don't even think she said anything. I just, after I told her that, you know, she stayed silent after I told her she had the wrong number. And she, I just kind of, I hung up, but like, I she got the point this time. So now at this point, it's late at night, you know, it's about 9 o'clock. Uh, we're taking a break from playing. I want to go chill with Maria, see what she's doing out of nowhere. Ring, 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 ring. I'm like, hold up, man. <laughs> it, it ain't her, is it? I said, hold up, man. Hold up, let me check real quick. I pick up. Hola, esta pachito. Okay, at this point, I was about to lose it. I... I my patience is running low. I have a lot of patience, guys, but you can't... Ooh, you can't push my patience that far, man. With Maria being next to me, I was like, all right, this is perfect. I'm going to tell Maria to talk to her. Tell her she has the wrong number. If I'm not saying it correctly, if she's not understanding, if she cannot get Maria wrong. If Maria speaks fluent Spanish, she will get the point. So Maria answers and tells her, you know, how she will say it. Tienes el nuevo escubicado. You know, I can't say it correctly, but, she, you know, she'll get it. You know, so she told her, you have the wrong number. Please, stop calling, you know... There's no Panchito. You have the wrong number. Pretty clear in my eyes and my ears. I heard it as well. You know, we all heard it. Okay. So at this point, you know, I thought she got the point across. We all thought she got the point across. And then, okay, so we're good. We're all happy. You know, we're cheering. Me. You know, I got a crowd behind me clapping. You know, it's lit. It's lit, man. We're all happy. It's like, all right, this is done with. You know, I won't ever have to hear any more about Panchito ever again. No, that did not happen. Matter of fact, she called 10 minutes later asking for a Panchito. All right, at this point, guys, you know you know your boy's about to lose it. Like, what am I supposed to tell the lady? There's no Panchito. You know, Panchito doesn't exist. At this point, I'm like, all right. She's, she either has Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. I can't even say it right now. She either has that or she she just she doesn't understand. She could speak Spanish. Maybe she doesn't understand Spanish. I don't know. I don't know what's fucking going on in her head. So I'm like, or she just, oh, or my other theory was she was just really determined. Like, she was, she was really determined. Like, Panchito. Panchito must have been somewhat very important. You know, she was really determined to find Panchito. Like, she was on a fucking mission. She didn't care how many times she called. If if said wrong number, if there's no Panchito, she was fucking gonna find Panchito. So we told her again after she called six, seventh time. At this point, I'm about to lose it. Like, what does she not understand? She has a fucking wrong number. So we tell her again, you know, 
No eres Panchito, no Panchito aquí, por favor. Tienes tu número escubicado, por favor, no llame otra vez. You know, we let her down easy. We told her, like, please, you know, you got the wrong number. Just stop. You're, you're good. Like, no Panchito. Boy, at this point, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pumped. I'm feeling happy, you know. We're doing it. We did it. I got a bigger crowd behind me. We're all clapping. We're all cheering. You know, it's fucking lit. I got I got my whole team in Xbox Live Party Chat where it's just cheering and shit. <laughs> All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. But no, guys, no. She didn't, she just fucking just didn't understand. I don't know what to tell you. Because she called again. And she asked for a pachito again. So at this point, at this point, I told her again, then it's the new one, Scubicado. <laughs> I asked people for advice. What can I do? And somebody gave me the most simplest advice that I can believe I never thought of. <laughs> Anybody to see that? He threw, oh my god, uh, too much gun. So they gave me the most simplest advice that that I, I can't believe I didn't think of. Block her number. Block it. She can't call again if it's blocked. I can't believe I didn't do that before. I don't know what the fuck I've been doing, to be honest. Oh my god, no scope king. Honestly, you don't know what I've been... I was thinking... This fucking blocker number, get it over with. And that's what I did. Oh my god. It was the best thing ever. She didn't call again. I can't believe I did that earlier. But I do feel genuinely, I feel kind of bad. Because I feel like she was really trying to find Spachito. And I kind of like cut her off of the connection. Because that was probably like his old number or something. But Jesus, please ladies, stop. Well, she, she kind of stopped now because she can't call me anymore. And then that was it. It, it lasted uh, it lasted like two weeks of the like it was and no, it lasted like a whole week of calling me I got the phone call he's like 15 times 15 times for this lady but thank god it stopped either way guys I hope you enjoyed this little funny story that happened to me it happened like a month ago I just never did a video on it but I thought it was pretty funny something to talk about today maybe lift up some spirits maybe we have some positivity this has been your boy Apathy don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'm out peace